Early August 1824. Greece is in its fourth year of the revolution to throw off the Turkish yoke after 400 years of slavery. The Sultan is determined to bend the Greek fight in spirit and suppress the revolution to set an example. The complete destruction of the island of Kassos by the Egyptians and Psara by the Turks has spread grief throughout Greece but has not extinguished the revolutionary fire. The Turks now aim for Samos as a bridge to mainland Greece. The Sultan thinks it is an easy target, calling for its surrender without a fight. He calls upon them, first with promises, then with threats. But Lycurgos Logothetis is neither tempted nor does he succumb. The Samians support his decision to get organized and resist. The Greek fleet rushes to help. Across the island, on the Asia Minor coastline, disorderly crowds have gathered, hoping for an easy victory and plunder. The populous Turkish fleet skirts the island with arrogant confidence. The Greeks are preparing to fight a battle in these same waters, the Mikali Strait, where their ancestors, centuries ago, had defeated the Persians. Freedom or death. The motivational motto of the Greek Revolution is deeply engraved in their mind and soul. It's a one-way fight for them. They are aware of the superiority and numerical supremacy of the enemy, but they do not flinch. For two days, the rival fleets are engaged in cannon fight, but to no avail. On the third day, there is silence and a wait full of electrifying suspense. On the fourth day, August 6th, the battle takes place. The conflict is ambivalent and fatal, but time works in favor of the fetist. In the most critical moment, as the balance begins to tip in favor of the Turks, Greek fire ships manage to penetrate by surprise and set fire to the largest and fastest Turkish frigate opposite the fortress of Lycurgos. Successive explosions with terrifying thunder instill confusion in the Turkish fleet. The fire reaches the powder keg of the frigate and the night becomes day. Another two Turkish ships are burned at sea and the cries of the crew burning or falling into the water to save their lives scatter panic. It is as if all the demons from hell have awakened, hungry for destruction and human lives. The sight of the burned ships is shocking. The Turkish fleet retreats with as much speed as it can manage. The disorderly troops on the Asia Minor coast are erratically dispersed. Captain Pasha, wretched and humiliated, abandons every desire and effort to land on the island. Samus proved not to be an easy task after all. Once again, Greek resistance has hampered the Sultan's plans for conquer. One more step towards freedom and national rebirth took place in the historical Mikali Strait. We have gathered here today as pilgrims to the customary First Eve representation of that victorious battle of August 6, 1824. In these difficult and uphill times for our nation and our country, we are here to recall and pay tribute to the pride, bravery and sacrifice of the Greek fighters for our independence. We are here to kneel down reverently, honoring their patriotism and contribution to learn more from their example. They did not flinch and they won. It was August 6, 1824. Thank you.